praise the lord my name is pastor rajesh kedavi and welcome to another exciting message of the end times last video we focus upon the two witnesses and by god grace we come to know that the two witnesses were the moses and elijah who are going to come in the end times and this video we are going to focus on the exciting topic and the topic is who are 144000 are they jews or are they gentiles are they coming from heaven or they are coming from earth itself what's their purpose this is what we are going to focus today and when they are coming this is what we are going to focus today now it's very important whenever in the bible there is a cross reference like especially it happens when you read the new testament there is a cross reference about the old testament so it's important to go back and with that cross reference because then you have a a complete information of that particular topic now some of the denomination in christianity like jehovah witness they claim that they are that 144000 mention in the book of revelation they are the one which the bible is talking about and also they preach that only 144000 are going to are going to make it to heaven that's what they are preaching but this two this two doctrines are not according to the bible and this is what we are going to find out today now this 144000 is mentioned in in the book of revelation it mentioned twice in the bible it's mentioned in revelation chapter 7 and it's mentioned in revelation chapter 14 so it's natural if you want to find more about this you have to go to revelation chapter 7 and you have to go to the revelation chapter 14 so let's read revelation chapter 7 first and after this thing i saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor any tree and i saw another angels ascending from the east having the seal of the living god and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servant of our god in their four heads was for and i heard the number of them which were sealed john heard the number of them which were sealed and they were sealed in 144000 of all the tribes of the children of israel now very important to understand this now all this 144000 they are jews they are from all the tribes as you know that there are 12 tribes so they are all from all the 12 tribes of israel so they are jews they are not gentiles so gentiles cannot claim that oh they are that 144000 mentioned in the book of revelation so when jehovah witnesses they say that they are that 144000 so the first thing you have to ask them are you a jew or a gentile because it says that they are from all the tribes of is why so if someone says oh we are that 144000 first thing you have to ask them which tribe you belong to are you jew or you are a gentile now the second very important which is mentioned in this verse it says they were sealed in 144000 of all the tribes of the children of israel see here the word children is come now this is very important because this word will take us to somewhere so just mark this word children was five of the tribe of juda were still 12000 of the tribe of reuben were still 12000 of the tribe of gad were still 12000 of the tribe of asher were still 12000 of the tribe of nephtali were still 12000 of the tribe of manasseh were still 12000 
of the tribe of Simon were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Ishkar were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Zebulun were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. So, as you know, that Israel is divided into 12 tribes. God divided Israel into 12 types earlier. So 12,000 from each tribe. So you multiply 12 to 12,000. So that becomes 144,000. So all these 144,000, they are the Jews. They are from all the tribes of Israel. And second thing, important thing, the word children is mentioned there. Now, second, uh, the second thing some denominations speak, oh, in the heaven, oh, only 144,000 are going to make it to heaven. Will read that also. Will read Revelation chapter 7, the same chapter, will read verse 9. What it says here, after this I beheld. And lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palm in their hands. What it says here? That no man could number. So the heaven is going to be so full, so full, so full. where no man could number. So it's sad that some denominations are preaching that only 144,000 people are going to, go, going to get saved and they are going to go to heaven. That's a wrong doctrine because the Bible says here, no man could number. When the Bible says no man could number, you cannot number it. So we found some information about this 144,000. First thing is that they are going to come in the tribulation, they are going to come in the later part of the tribulation, that is in the last two and a half years. And also at that time, as you know, that Moses and Elijah are also going to come. And they are the Jews from all the 12 tribes of Israel. Now we have to know that all these 144,000 Jews, they are the Jews who are living now or someone else. So that we have to find out. But first thing we have found out that they are the Jews. Let's read Revelation chapter 14 because as you know Revelation chapter 7 and 14 talks about that. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts. And the elders and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which are not defiled with women. For they are virgins. Now the third information. These 144,000, they have not defiled themselves with the woman. They are virgins. So if someone says, Oh, I am, I am that part of 144,000. Oh, my church is part of that 144,000. Tell them, are you a virgin? Then you'll get the answer. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever He goes. So this 144,000, they are virgins, no defilement with women, and they follow the Lamb wherever He goes. So strong relation between the Lamb. Who is the Lamb? Jesus Christ. Between the Jesus Christ and this 144,000. This were redeemed from among men, being the first foot unto the God and to the Lamb. What it says here? These are being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. The first fruits. These are the first fruits. Now, the first fruit, you have this word mentioned in the in the Corinthians. Now, let's read that it was addressed to whom? Now, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. But every man in his own orders, Christ the first fruits. Afterwards, they that are Christ at his coming. Let's read further. But now is Christ risen from the dead and became the first fruit of them that slept. So here the Christ is called the first fruits. Now very important to note that, you know, here it's 
the first fruit is plural it's not singular it's not mentioned here Christ the first fruit it's mentioned Christ the first fruits so this fruits this s is the 144,000 because they are also called we just read they're also called as the first fruit and Jesus is also called as the first fruits so strong relation between this 144,000 and Jesus Christ and they go where the lamb goes strong bond between them two now let's read further let's get more information let's go back to the uh, revelation chapter 14 was five and in their mouth was found no guy for they are without fault before the throne of god hey the bible calls them virgins no defilement with women very important and in their mouth there was no guile they were without fault before the throne of i mean bible is portraying this hundred and forty four thousand as as sinless as pure as holy because it says here there were no fault they were without fault before the throne of god hey this is what we are getting more information about this 144,000 now let's go to Isaiah 53 let's study more about Jesus Christ so when we study more about Jesus Christ we get more information about this 144,000 Isaiah 53 who had believe, believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed for he shall grow before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form, no commonliness. And when we shall see him, there is no, no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as we hide as it were our faces from him, he was despised and we esteem him not. Surely, he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Now, this is very important. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own ways, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Verse 7 He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth, and is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearer is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Verse 8 He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Now this is very important. Now here the verse says who shall declare his generation? Who is there to declare his generation? Actually, the answer is no one. Because to get this answer, it's very important to know about his generation. As you know that Lord Jesus Christ, he lived 33 years on this planet Earth. And when he, when he came to this Earth, when he was born, the Herod, he killed all the babies. Every the newborn babies child up to one year till old. two years of age. Mm, two years he old. He killed all of them. So there was no generation left when Lord Jesus Christ was growing up. And therefore it says here, who shall declare his generation? For he was cut out of the land of the living now let's read Matthew chapter 2 
and let's get more information about that about his generation what happened to these babies let's go to matthew chapter 2 and when they were departed behold the angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream saying arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into egypt as you know lord jesus christ was born in in bethlehem but they were forced to go to egypt because of the herod and be thou there until i bring this word for herod will seek the young child to destroy him when he arose he took the young child and his mother by night and departed unto egypt and was there until the death of the herod so they stayed in egypt until the death of herod that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the lord by the prophet saying out of the egypt i have called my son then herod when he saw that he was mocked of the wise man was exceeding wrath and set forth and slew all the children that were in bethlehem and in all the coast now as you know that herod instructed the wise man that when you finish visiting the baby you come back and report to me but the wise man didn't went so the herod was very angry and he and he ordered to slave to kill all the children that were in the bethlehem and in all the coast thereof from 2 years old and under according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise man now he ordered all the children to be killed in bethlehem and also in all the coast now what is that what is the coast here see in bethlehem and in jerusalem there is no there is no coast nearby as you know that in the in the old times the god has divided israel into 12 tribes and all these tribes they were given access to coast so when the bible says here that he killed the children that were in bethlehem and in all the coast it means that he killed all the children of all the 12 tribes of israel from a newborn baby to 2 years of old 2 years old so he killed all the babies from all the 12 tribes of this wife because he thought that lord jesus christ he must be around up to 2 years of 2 years old and therefore he killed all the babies from the newborn to 2 years old that was a genocide committed by herod and as you know that after some decades you have the hitler committing the same genocide on the jews in germany in verse 17 then was fulfilled that which was spoken by jeremiah the prophet saying in rama was there a wise herd lamentation and weeping and a great mourning rachel weeping for her children and will not be comforted because they are not so here matthew is matthew is quoting jeremiah the prophet actually in the book of jeremiah the prophecy is given about this the prophecy is given about about the babies who are going to be killed and he quoted the same verses from the prophecy in rama was there a voice heard lamentation and weeping and a great mourning rachel weeping for her children and will not be comforted because they are not just imagine so many babies were killed from all the 12 tribes of israel you know when the baby is born the parents are so happy and so so excited but you see there they were all killed and therefore the mothers were crying desperately oh my babies are killed and they will not be comforted because it's difficult to comfort a mother who who have lost her babies now let's go to the jeremiah because that's that's from where bathu quoted and let's read that so we have a 
a full idea about that. Jama 31:15. Thus said the Lord, a voice was heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rahel weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. Thus said the Lord, refrain thy voice from the weeping and and thine eyes from tears, for they, for thy work shall be rewarded. <laughs> says the lord and they shall come again from the land of the enemy and there is hope in thy name says the lord that thy children shall come again to their own borders so this mother were crying they refused to be comforted but the lord said to them you don't cry you don't weep because your children they are going to come again they are going to come again in the same land in the land they were killed and it says and and, and it says there is hope in time and in the end there is hope says the lord the children shall come again to their own border oh the mothers they must have been so happy that one fine day they are going to see the children now as you know that in the rapture the church is out in the heaven now when the tribulation starts especially in the last three and a half years of tribulation you know like the god sent elijah and moses and also you have this 144000 coming from heaven in the end times now this 144000 they might be the the babies who were killed by heroth and they came back in the end times because there was a promise from lord jesus christ from the lord to 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 their mothers that they will come back in the end your children will come back in the, in the same place where they were killed so this 144000 this way the babies who came from heaven in the end times god so this 144000 they must be the babies who were killed by heroth and now in the end times they are back on the planet earth as if it further you will get more information was it again we will read the verse 8 from book of isaiah He was taken from prison and from judgment who shall declare his generation for, for he was cut off of the land of the living very important he was cut off of the land of the living now this is talking about lord jesus christ because isaiah 53 is talks about lord jesus christ so he was cut off of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth so the bible described jesus as as he has done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth now when we read revelation 14 we just read the bible says these are they which are not defiled with women for they are virgins So all these hundred and forty-four, they the Bible they said they they are virgins. No marriage, no defilement with women. So this must be the babies <laughs> who have been killed by the Herod. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes. Oh, strong relation between the Lamb and this hundred and forty-four thousand. This way, redeem from among men, being the first foot unto the God and to the Lamb. As we, as we found out that even Jesus Christ is called the first fruits. It's plural, 
So S is the 144,000 who came from heaven. Verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile. For they are without fault before the throne of God. Now as we read Isaiah 53, it says about Lord Jesus Christ, there was no deceit in his mouth, no violence. And about this 144,000, it says there was no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Who were killed by the Herod. Because no defilement with women, they were virgins, they followed the Lamb wherever they went, they were without fault before the throne of God, and the babies, no guile. So with the help of the scriptures, we come to know that, yes, this 144,000 are the one, are the babies who were killed by Herod. 2000 years ago and now now they have come back in the end times because the Lord promised them that they will come back in the end and they will come back to the same place from where they are killed so today by God grace we learned this 144,000 they are Jews not Gentiles. So the Jehovites, they cannot claim that they are 144,000. Secondly, oh, they have to be virgin. If someone says that, oh, uh, we, we, we belong to that 144,000, are you virgin? Then you'll get the answer. So, these are the Jews from all the 12 tribes of Israel. And as we studied further, we, come to, we came to know that these are the babies who were killed. And as you know that Herod killed the babies from all the 12 tribes of the Israel. And so this 144,000, these are all from the 12 tribes of the Israel. 12,000 from each tribe. As promised by God in Jeremiah, they come back in the end times now why, why why God has sent them very interesting to know let's read this and I saw another angels fly in the midst of the heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and the people so these 144,000 by God's grace they are the one who is going to proclaim the everlasting gospel all over the earth and you know at that time Moses and Elijah will, will also be there on the earth so most probably this 144,000 they will be under Moses and Elijah proclaiming the everlasting gospel all over the world because see that's the love of God God loves people the Bible says God doesn't want anyone to be destroyed anyone to be lost so he makes plan for the people to be saved. So this is the last plan in the tribulation. In the tribulation also, the gospel, everlasting gospel will be preached all over the earth. The last chance for them to be saved or not to be saved. So it's going to be very, so the last chance for them to get saved. And also we learned one thing that God loves the babies so much. I know some mothers must have lost their babies because of any disease, because of any medical complications, they must have lost, lost their babies. But let me tell you, God loves your baby and your baby is secured. Maybe you thought that, oh, th that is gone, but they are there in the heaven with Lord Jesus Christ. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. And it's sad to see that so many babies are killed all over the world because of abortions. So many babies are killed. You know, Herod, 
did the genocide 2000 years back killing all the babies the same thing is happening the same genocide is happening so many babies are getting killed and they think that by doing this the baby will be destroyed and that picture will be over let me tell you it's not over because god loves the babies even the men some hate the babies they want to destroy the babies but god loves them they are in the safe hand of god even the man try to destroy them but god will save them and all are safe in the hands of god the bible says that in the book of jeremiah when you were in the, your mother's womb i have chosen you so when the baby is formed in the mother's womb god is it's speaking to the babies i know some have aborted but let me tell you god loves that babies and make sure that the babies are there in the heaven rejoicing with him god loves the babies and so when lord jesus christ when he saw the when he saw all these mothers weeping you know god said to them that don't weep and don't cry because your children they are going to come back and in revelation 7 you know we read in the beginning that all these 144000 they were from all the tribes of the children of the israel so god was referring to the babies who were killed by hevot so let's pray almighty and awesome father god thank you so much for this time thank you for your grace for your mercy lord jesus i pray all this in most loving lord jesus christ amen